Hey everybody, it's Sarah back with another video and this time it's a fiber prep video. You can see here I have a braid of fiber over there and I have turned them into faux lags and I use this very sparkly <laughs> um, Victoria's Secret perfume box to hold them in order for me once I have them all made. So what I'm going to do I've seen a lot of people say that they just pull the fibers in their braid sideways and then roll them. Um, so like they sort of just pull it sideways and then roll it one time and then pull it off and this is just too much fiber. It's way too much. Like it's thick and it's going to draft clumpy. It's going to not be an awesome spinning experience like you want. The ones that I make are very thin, they're very lightweight, um, there's not a lot of fiber to them and I wanted to show you how I make them because they spin beautifully. And I'm having cat issues today so there will probably be some funking as I chuck him on the ground. But basically what I wanted to do was show you guys how I get my faux lags to be super light and fluffy. And here's how we do it. So this is my rod that I use. It's actually the warping peg from an Ashford rigid head of loom. It's just, it's the perfect size diameter. Um, it just works really, really well. Um, another thing that would probably work pretty well is um, like a, a fat highlighter. You could use that to roll them up. You just have to be more careful because one end is going to be thicker than the other. If you have a straight rod, it's going to be a lot easier. So here's what I do to get my faux lags nice and fluffy. So I take my braid of fiber and I'm doing this because I'm spinning this braid support, um, with a support spindle and I don't like using a big thick chunk of fiber and I don't want to spin this one from the fold because it's just easier for me to color manage if I do full legs. So this fiber that I'm spinning is from Inglenook Fibers and it's Merino Camel Silk and the camel is pretty short stapled and if you just spin from the braid, what you're going to end up doing is pulling out all the silk and all the merino in different passes and then all you're going to have left is a clump of camel in your hand and then you'll spin that. So you'll basically have three sections of yarn in your yarn, one section being the longer pieces which are the silk and then you would go to the medium pieces being the merino and then the smallest pieces being the camel. So in an effort to keep all of those nicely homogenized and together like you want it to be, uh, you can either just pull it off, pull off a chunk and spin from the fold, or you can do this. And this is how I make my full legs. So I grab just the very, very tippy tip and pull gently. I don't even pull out a whole staple length. And I keep pulling very gently because you don't want the fiber to break. You want it to keep going. See, like that, I was holding down here too hard and it almost broke. You can see my fingers through the fiber. That's okay, because we can just roll right over that when we make our faux legs. So just try to keep it together and try to be nice and gentle about pulling. It's not really hard. It just requires a little bit of care and attention. Okay, so now that we're getting to this color break, I'm going to go ahead and stop. So here's what we do from here. I lay this out straight in front of me. So I can then take this piece and pull it out a little bit widthwise to make them longer. So then I take my nice warping peg and swipe this up onto the peg and just roll it like pretty much just once. And then I take my hand and break it. 
So here, you guys can't really see that. Here we have all the little flyaway pieces and everything's staying put um, on this. So then we just roll this up and you don't need to like roll it in your hand or anything. It'll stay in a nice little faux lag by itself without a lot of smoothing because the more you smooth it, the tighter it's going to be. Even if you use a big thick rod to roll them, they're still going to be tight. I've, I've done these a million times and every time I've ever like rolled them in my hand, they've been harder to spin. So then all you do is just slide this one off and put it in line with all of its partners so you can keep your color progression good. And then you just rinse and repeat. So you spread this out, right? And I like to bring the ends in just a little bit so it's more tidy. Let me do it this way so you guys can see better. Bring the ends in so like it's nice and wide. but the ends are in so it's nice and tidy when you start rolling and you just take these little itty bitty frays and roll them up and over. This is a little too light because you can clearly see the wood through the fiber. So we're going to roll it just a little bit more and they, right here, there's a nice little break, and that's where I want to stop my fiber. So I'm going to put my hand above it and just pull straight down, and it breaks really nicely right there. And then you just roll this up. It stays perfectly. And you just slide it right off, and it's ready to spin, and it's so light and fluffy, and you can see there's no wrapping on the inside, so you'll get a nice tornado. Um, when you use two sticks, you get kind of an S shape when you do it, and I've never had great luck spinning those. They've always fought me a little bit harder, so I don't use two sticks. I just use the one, and it makes the transitions of the color in a braid, like up here, it's going to blend a whole lot nicer than just if you were to spin straight from the top. So one more time, take these little fluffy pieces and push them up and roll it over. And right here is where I want my break to be. So I just push it away. And then take this and roll it up. And it's okay if the ends look like this because when you push it, they're still going to stay. And that's probably a great end to join from because it's nice and loose and airy. So those fibers will grab really easily onto your already established single, either on your spindle or on your wheel or however you are spinning. So that is all there is to how I make my faux legs. And you can, I don't know if you can see here, this color is starting to get lighter because the lighter green blue is starting to incorporate. This one will probably just be this long. So I'll just pull that off and I'll show you how it doesn't matter if it looks all weird. It's still going to spin perfectly, even if there's f different flows in the fiber. So you just take it and roll it. And yes, this one's going to be a little bit thicker, but it's not going to spin really any differently. And again, the color is lighter once more, but not so much that it looks like it's part of a different braid. It just magically goes right in a line with the other ones. And this is what my color progression looks like right now. That is it for today. Maybe in another video I can show you guys how I spin these nice little babies. Um, if you guys have any questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to ask. 
you can find me on Ravelry. I'm Mrs. Flick there. Um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. Always comment below if you'd like to. I read every single comment of my videos and try to reply to all of them if I can. Um, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!